Tobela, my name is Maidi. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, what I've, I've gone through for the last two weeks after I told you that um, I was visited by the uh, Zunza spirits. So this was kind of like I would say I was twasing if you were putting it in suit. Like it was. So the initiation, Zunza initiation. Remember I told you that every time that um, when I go through uh, I meet these new spirits and stuff like that, my people, they take me to school and they show me things that I need to work on so that I can be the right person for, to be able to receive these new um, spirits that they are telling me that, um, that have introduced themselves to me. But this time, oh my gosh. What do I say? This was like an exposure therapy. So they were healing me through exposure, like proper, proper, like showing me that bit of me that I keep on pretending not to see. The things about me that I really do not like to face. Now they were seriously exposing me to it, like I could, even if I was trying to, to say, no, 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 my sisters, you cannot show me this. They say, we are seeing you doing this and that and that and that. And I close my ears. No, I don't want to hear this. You're going to hear us. We are talking. We are inside your head anyway. We are not outside. You can use your fingers outside, but we are inside. We are doing this. We are saying this. This is a problem we need to solve. So that was what, what was happening to me. So I can just tell you what was happening, what the way I was feeling. It was not good. It was not good. I had so many emotions that it was too hard. I was even saying, uh, "This I don't. I think I'm, I've had enough of gifts. No more gifts." I was saying that. Then I, re I remember saying, "Oh, anyway, you're showing my weakness. It's okay. You can keep on showing me everything that you need to show me, guys." I was sad. I was angry. I was frustrated. I felt vulnerable. I felt embarrassed because sometimes they were showing me things that I did not want to see. You know, sometimes you have this uh, thought that you think that obviously you're thinking them by yourself, isn't it? No one is listening. Uh, you're just thinking about something and sometimes like, okay, me, because I do not have to project. Me, like some things are not morally right. But, you know, sometimes we think, isn't it? They were showing them to me like this. I remember uh, waking up that night uh, after the dream and saying, ancestors and spirits, you must never, you must never now, you must never. Now this is too much now, this is too much. Now you, you're invading my privacy now. This is not right. I cannot take this, not even from you. I cannot take this. No, this, you're testing me to the limit now. This is just too much now. I cannot take it. You must never show me something like that. You must never. That is not something, that's not right. Even for your standards, it's not right. <laughs> I remember doing that and I didn't mean to laugh. I was so angry. I was so angry with the thing they were showing me, obviously. But it's something that I thought at one stage in my life. Right? They were showing it to me like that. I mean, seriously. I, I, it was that, that like that. I, I can tell you, right? How do I even, how do I put this in a way that uh, makes sense? You know, it was like a, they were showing me everything that, like my negative thought patterns, my anxiety that I need to remove, you know, things that I need to work on, right? Some situations that if I don't deal with them uh, now, they're going to cause me problems. You understand? It was like that. It was like that. It was like that. It was not pleasant. It was uncomfortable. But I have to accept it because I knew that I was going through transition, isn't it? There's something. Obviously, when you get new spirits, you know that something has to change. You're not going to be the same. Now you've got uh, <laughs> different accolades. You understand? So these gifts, they don't just come like that and you, you're sitting down and you're eating ice cream. It was so uncomfortable, I have to tell you, it was so uncomfortable. I can tell you that the difference between the way I felt for these past two weeks 
and the way I felt at the beginning of my journey when my ancestors were initiating me. That time, at least I could say it was better because then they were telling me before they would show me a dream that we are trying to make sure that you look at this, your insecurities, we, you need to deal with this kind of thing about you. You need to deal with this anger issue about you. They, they will tell me before they send me a dream, but this time they were not send, telling me before, they were not warning me. The dreams were, they, they were showing me different colors. Things that, some dreams that, they, 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 you know, when I look at them, I realize that, oh my gosh, look at me. I'm like, this This is just really bad. This beat up on me, I don't like it. It was so bad, and I was thinking, I need to deal with this. This is not right. This is not right. This is how I am. It's not right. And the following day, they'll show me something worse than that. And then I'll be, I'll be embarrassed about it. Uh, really, seriously. This is how I treat myself. This is really bad. You understand? Then the following day, they'll show me something that is really, really, uh, you know, it was like they were going like high and low, high and low. My weakness is being shown to me like that. Like I'm, I'm saying to you, it was exposure. Being exposed to those so I can deal with them. It was not funny. It was not funny. It was not funny. I was not happy. I was I was upset every day. Sometimes I'll be happy for a minute and then the, then I remember the dream. Then I become like uncomfortable. Oh my gosh, it was so bad, so bad. But I knew it was part of my healing. They wanted me to work on those things, to work on those things. And if that was not even enough, they, they, they got me that mathematics cloth, right? The final cloth. They put me on it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It was intense. It was intense. I mean, it was really, really, it was really, really, I felt so bad, so bad. So I am sharing this with you so that you, you, you try and understand, especially in, the, in these two weeks, they've taken me to school three times, three times. So you need to remember, when you're being sent to school as well, most of the time when you're being sent to school, it is something to do with something that you need to work on. Look at the dreams that they show you after the, those school dreams, so you can understand what it is that you're working with. When you feel upset, you're crying, and you don't know why you're crying, you remember what in your dream they've shown you something about you that has triggered you. So you need to work on that. Meaning that you can't say, ah, I'm okay, I've worked on it. Pretend in real life, in, in consciously like this in waking state that you've dealt with it. No, the ancestors will take you to the dream state where they're going to show you that you're lying to yourself. Do you understand? You cannot lie there in, in that, that dream state. You cannot lie. Because there, they're showing you everything, everything about you that you need to deal with. You need to deal with them. And you've got strength as well, they'll show you. But I can tell you that there was nothing that was my strength. My strength, were, I started seeing my strength when in my dreams, things were the things that I was doing wrong. I was changing somehow, I was reacting different, differently to things in my dreams. Then I, I, I knew that I was getting there. I was getting there. Do you understand? I was getting there. Because in, in, in those dreams, when they're they are, they are working with you, they're healing you. When is this kind of exposure therapy? Things have to change. The way you're dealing with something, if they showed you something that were not right at the beginning, that you didn't deal with it right, you need to see in the next dream how you change, how you are you are you are you are you are now doing better. Because you have to do better, guys. You have to do better. So that is for that. So on the on, at the end of that, they show me now what they were working on. They were working on those dreams, what they were working on. So they were showing me situations that in my waking state, like in, in, in uh, you know, I am not dealing with them properly. And these things, if I don't sort them out, they might cause problems for me ahead. I mean, I tell you, I keep on going through these schools, right? And they keep on showing my weakness, but this time it was worse, okay? But I know that my people are working with me to make sure that I become a confident healer, an authentic one as well, and the best resilient healer that you can get out there. So I know everything that they do with me, 
when they're showing me this, even when I'm crying some days, actually, I think for 14 days, I must have cried 12 days, for 12 days out of the 14, because it was hard. So I know that that is for my own good, for my own good, do you understand, for my own good. So those things, you need to look at them. You need to look at them. Don't just say, ah, as healers, we're feeling, I'm anxious sometimes, I'm feeling like I'm stressed, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I can't deal, I just want to be alone, without, not with other people. You don't know why. You need to try and see what your people are showing you in those dreams because those feelings that you're getting, they are showing you something that you need to, they're, they're, they're working with you on. So you need to look at those things. Because they are very important. Don't just tell people that, ah, I was down, I've been down for three months before when I was initiating. But why? Do you understand? You need to look into and understand why, what they are showing you in, in dreams. What kind of thought patterns are they negative or are they positive? And if they are negative, that means they are trying to make sure that they become positive. So you need to look at those things. And in, in, in those dreams, if you are doing something wrong, are you seeing now that you're, they are correcting you in the dream? They, they start changing, you start doing something that is right. You understand? Therefore, that means if you can do it right in the dream, in, 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 in waking life, then you'll be the best person you can be. Because there, subconsciously, if you're not doing right, uh, consciously, that means it's worse. But if you're doing it consciously, subconsciously, like uh, they're showing you doing something good, that means even consciously, you'll be doing something really, really good. Do you understand? So they, those two, they need to align properly. They need to be right, guys. They need to be right. If they're showing you something in a dream that is not right, and they keep on showing you, you need to see if there are corrections being made in those dreams, because that means you're working so hard as well, in your con you're consciously working so hard as well to change that thought pattern, okay? If it is a thought pattern. Because now I'm explaining mine. So you need to work on that to see what it is that they're showing. Anyway, that was just that. But you know, one thing that all these things started, uh, you know, I knew that I was going through this, right? Obviously, I, after I know that I'll be going through things like that. But I knew that this was really, really going to be extreme because I was shown being in this place, it was like a function and we were getting... We were being shot with big, huge guns. People were shooting us left, right, left, right. And I was looking at myself as an observer, like uh, looking at myself in the dream, right? And these people have shot me so much that there was no need for them to keep on shooting me on the belly, on the stomach. So they kept on shooting me on the stomach. And I realized that, ah, I mean, what kind of thing is this? I mean, how, how, how dead do you want someone to be? Do you understand? Then I realized that that kind of violent thing uh, it means something that uh, I was not really, something would have caused me so much problem. And th there was a big change happening here. This is something that is too big, you understand? Because I, when I woke up from that dream after being shot uh, and they were, the focus of the, the shooting was on my belly, I realized that Ah, because even I was feeling on my solar plexus, that's why I had emotions, I was crying when I woke up from that. And it was not that crying that you're thinking that was bad, it was just, I was just emotional. It just happened, like, I was spiritually feeling it physically as well, you know. So I knew that there, it was there, something to do with the solar plexus, that means something was not balanced. So I knew, ah, they're going to be dealing with me like this, these people are just worse now. The ancestors and the spirits and others, they're going to be worse with me now. If they were that extreme and they know I don't like to see those kind of things and they show me like that, it was like they didn't care. Even the people who were holding guns and shooting at us, it was like they were like, pa 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 on me. Like, hey! Like, with the, the big ones, you know, like the one who pa pa on my belly. I was like, wow, my God, this is just violent. And, Apologies for those who don't like to hear things like this, but I'm explaining my dream. It was that violent and I want you to understand. So it was to do with the solar plexus and the sacral chakra because the things they were showing me in the dream, they were to do with 
things that I'm ashamed of, you know, like I told you this, they were showing me this dream that I had to wake up and tell my, my people that uh -uh, you must never, never show me things like that. Because just to do with something related. So, uh -huh. so they were showing me things like that. So I knew that they were dealing with this bit, bit of my, the sacral and the, the, the solar plexus. So that's why those emotions I was getting, it was because this was not balance. So they had to work on that. They had to work on that. So this is part one. Um, so I'm going to explain part two so you understand why they were working with me on the solar plexus and the, the sacral chakra. This bit here, you understand? This bit here and then and the, and the, the root chakra probably. The, these three bits there. So they were working, they were actually, they were working on me everywhere because we, they were just doing it everywhere anyway. But the, mo the most focus was on my stomach, okay? And I know it's solar plexus because I know when my people are angry and they want to show me they're angry, they will show it to me in the solar plexus and I'll feel it emotionally as well. I'll be really, really emotional because they want to show me that they mean this. Do you understand? So that was what was happening with me. So that is just what I wanted to talk to you about. So be careful. You know, be careful uh, when your people are working with you with things to do with mental your, your mental well-being, okay? They're going to show you things that they're going to make you upset. They're going to show you things that are going to frustrate you. They're going to show you things that are going to make you angry. They're going to show you things that they're going to be so uncomfortable that, you know, you're just going to be a mess. And when I'm saying a mess, I mean a mess. A mess, you know. So, um, and... You know, if, if you, 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 are, you are alone, you don't have someone to talk to, it can be really, really hard because sometimes you can have people around, but when this thing, they're working on you like that, you kind of feel like you're alone anyway. No one understands you. So, yeah, things like that. So that's when the ancestors and spirits are working on us to make sure that we become the best healed healers and we become the best versions of ourselves because by doing that they are making sure that when we go out there to represent ourselves to represent them you know we become what they want us to be as beautiful as they want us to be so that is what it is so how would and i'm sending you light how would say?